すみません、ゆうささん。もう一回お願いします。バカにしてるのかお前10秒やるから俺の舞台から出ていけそれでお前らは5分でさん待ってください黙れ出ていけて言っただろうが調べる国民の意見に対して首相は安心させるべく産業的違法での石油の代理としてのこのウランとプルトニウムの混合物モックス燃料の詳細を説明しますでもその前に地方ニュースのお時間です雄三洋次郎監督怪獣映画界の偉人が彼の次回作のメチャの来週に対抗するクロコドール役を新しくキャスティングするとたった今発表しました新美の怪獣ユニバーサルスタジオへあさって8時からお待ちしていますこれが俺にとって最後のチャンス練習しなくちゃ。巨匠ユゾ監督の理解策のためのカスティング会場のはずでしたしかしイカロスの時効からモックス燃料サイレン避難計画そして兄弟怪獣東京がどんどん映画のセットに変わっていきますしかし背後にはガリピの山しか気づいていないにもかかわらず怪獣はまだ明らかな攻撃の意思を示してはいませんどこへ
Hello, we are Kaiju Kid. Kaiju Kid tells the story of Hiroshi, a failed actor in 1970 Tokyo, who turned into a Kaiju, a Japanese fictional character. Because our project is a live-action VFX short movie, we had to carefully plan our shooting. It was both challenging and fascinating to research and analyze still and movie images of Tokyo apartment, of cinema studios in Tokyo, and of the city itself during the 60s and 70s. I was in charge of lighting and the framing on the shooting set. For the live action port, we decided to build the set of Hiroshi's apartment and to recreate 70s era movie sets. For the transformation sequence, we had to do an early morning shoot at the beach and produce the lighting of a radioactive sea. I was in charge of designing the kaiju monster. To build his basic body shape, I drew several types of silhouette to match his costume. For the costume, Thibaut, Theo and I started from those kaiju's concept. The costume had to be realistic and to be adjustable for the actor's movement. 1960 Tokyo City Wall building height was limited to 33 meters due to seismic activity. For better contrast, we decided that the kaiju would be 80 meters high, which provided an appropriate scale. We decided to use Viri Maya workflow, working with references and Viri proxies for optimization purposes. Tokyo in the 70s was very dense, so I decided to create six lit modular neighborhoods. I set to them using Victor's Kitbash. I designed my own buildings and mixed them with those from Victor's building generator. This helped to achieve consistency between shots. I was in charge of layout, texturing, look dev, lighting, and rendering. Due to a massive number of assets, it was essential to optimize them and make them lighter and easier to work with. The sheer amount of panels, ads, and lights in 17's Tokyo made it very challenging to light the scenes and produce the right aesthetic, while also maintaining the realistic scale. I made sure to light the kaiju monster effectively to avoid minimizing its massive height. For the city itself, I had to provide a manageable workflow. I created a building generator which allowed us to make actual Tokyo buildings from pictures. The building generator helped me to get the building footprint and then to recreate it as a mosaic by assembling different panels from the same input pictures. The very last step was to add light to the windows and to scatter props. We needed some building to be destructible, so I collaborated with Thibaut on that aspect. I started from the building created with Victor's generator, then created a setup that allowed to fracture them, and I reused different building nomenclatures. To create a realistic monster with adequate proportions, I sculpted the body in ZBrush and then retopologized in Maya. For the texturing of the body, I used texture projection from XYZ Texturing Pack and the nodal system in Mari, which I then mixed with alphas for particular zones. I sculpted some areas for a more detailed and consistent look. I was in charge of making the rig of the kaiju. I used an outer rig and then did the skin and sculpted blend shape for the facial in collaboration with Alec Thandre. For the Keiju facial animation and to convey his emotion, we use the blend shape that our rigger created. This blend shape were used to bring humanity and deformation to the Keiju. The main challenge for us was to keep a suitable timing and a wider range of movement unsuitable to the Keiju weight. We researched reverence of large animals and Keijus and try emulating various reasons of their body parts while conveying a sense of their massive weight. We had to keep in mind the weight and the size of the kaiju while we had to shoot references. We later take those videos we shot and slow them down by 0.5% to get a proper timing and proper feeling of weight and scale. A low resolution version of the car for its destruction. I then added the simulation on the final model using a point deform to save time and to speed up the simulation calculation. I also mixed two different types of constraints, soft and glue, to avoid too much breakage of the different car parts. The laser anticipation effect is made of multiple layers. I first created a smoke simulation using the Axiom Solver, playing with the pressure field to get that interesting collapsing effect. After that, I advect a particle simulation using the velocity field generated by the smoke, and I added Micro Solver to get the motion we wanted. We hope you enjoyed discovering Kaiju Kids' poetic journey with us. Yes.